Welcome to another Undiscovered Interview. I'm Kevin LaShawn. With me today, I have a very interesting young lady, and we're going to find out a little bit about her and uh, let her tell you a little bit about her life and uh, her music. Welcome to Undiscovered. Uh, where are you from? Where, where were you born or where are you from? I'm Waukegan, Illinois. Grew up most of my years in Waukegan, Illinois, and probably did a couple years in Kenosha, Wisconsin as well. Where do you live now? Oshkosh, Wisconsin. What in your childhood led you to music? Well, um, I would have to say poetry, and I did a lot of writing classes, um, a lot of leadership classes, so that's pretty much what led me to music. What was your favorite thing to do as a child? Um, sports. I love sports. Um, What's your favorite sport? Basketball. basketball. Well, there's a double tie, basketball and track, of course, but both. See, uh, I, I interview a lot of people that I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, I had a chance to play basketball with this lady. <laughs> don't, don't sleep. She, she gets, don't sleep. That's right. She beat three boys in socks. It was bad. <laughs> it was a bad day to be a man. <laughs> Playing, she, she didn't have any basketball shoes. We're out doing a show on the road, and she beat us in socks, y'all. Yeah. It's just wrong. Go girls! Go girls. <laughs> What's the most interesting thing about being a woman in the rap game? Well, the most interesting thing I think is the challenge, you know, for um, women who, there there aren't a lot of women in the, you know, industry right now. So I think the biggest challenge is just being another woman to um, open the gates for more women to be able to, um, you know, do music in the industry. So that's the biggest challenge for women, I think. Um, what, what would you like to accomplish in your life in general and, and then break it down to with, uh, with in music? Well, in general, my life, of course, um, I love business, so I do want to be an uh, owner of my own business as well, so an entrepreneur. Um, as well as do my music. I do want to hopefully end up with the record deal, if not, you know, um, have my own record label. Those are the two things that I love doing, so as long as I'm doing those things, I'm happy. When was it that you wrote your first song? I have to say I wrote my first song by myself when I was 12 years old. And um, it was kind of like an old school rap, but I got it together and it was, it was nice though. What was it about? Um, pretty much like making people get up out of their seats and dance to a funky type beat. <laughs> Where'd you go to high school? Um, I went to high school. I did half of my years at Ruther High School and then I did half of my years at Bradford High School. Both are located in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Okay. Um, what's your most memorable, uh, happy moment from high school? Um, being prom queen. <laughs> I was prom queen, so that was amazing. Uh -huh. Amazing. Excellent. That was my happiest time. And then, what was your uh, biggest lesson from high school that you didn't like at the time, but after a long while, you realized it was good for you? Um, the fact that um, I was pregnant and um, I graduated number two in my class, so that was a really hard time being a teen parent. So teen mothers, parents, or however you put it, you can definitely do it. So that's a rough time, but got over it. You can perform anyone in the industry at any time in music that's still alive. Who would you like to perform? Kanye West. Okay. What, Kanye do you like, West. what do you like about Kanye? Um, I think he's a um, great artist all the way around the board as far as beats, producing, lyrically, performing, great entertainer. So. Who's the most influential person to you in the music industry? Whether it's a person or a label would say, or artist? Um, or Lauren like Hill. Okay. Yeah, that's someone who I'm very influenced by. Okay. If you could do anything good for someone else, and there was no limits on what you could do, you don't have to name your person, but money wasn't a restriction, time, nothing was a restriction, what would you do? Um, I would go back to um, trouble community and um, build homes for single mothers that want a second chance and have nobody else there. That's what I really want to do. If you are ever going to be great, you have to be grateful. 
Right. So, uh, or to the extent that you're great, it will be the extent that you're grateful. So what are you grateful for? Um, I'm grateful for my beautiful children, of course, and also always grateful for fans and another day living, you know, to reach the dream of becoming a successful artist, of course. Well, for another episode of Undiscovered, I'd like to thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the show online around the world or in Northeast Wisconsin, uh, 95.9 FM or 95.9kissfm.com. Once again, I'm Kevin LaShawn. I want to thank you for watching another episode of Undiscovered.